check it. So many open doors, it's hard to ignore. Every year was my year, but this year I'm sure. The pan of virtual tour, girl, them a bubble to the floor. Every year was my year, but this year I'm sure. The storm is here, but it won't stay. Where there is a will, there must be a way. Me a fi win, come what me. Clasp my hands every day I pray. Now nah, I can lose cause me not confused. Every time positivity me choose. So many open doors, it's hard to ignore. Every year was my year, but this year I'm sure. On a virtual tour, girl, them a bubble to the floor. Every year was my year, but this year I'm sure. Lyrics are poor from me, yeah. Tunes for you climb up the chart. Destiny create me part. Remain humble, don't exalt. Lockdown life rough. We can't do too much. We have till COVID up. A big dance, we a boss. Make sure you prepare yourself, cause when the clock strikes 12, things get dark, dark start bar, you are go by low hell. So many open doors, it's hard to ignore, every year was my year, but this year I'm sure, the pan a virtual tour, call them a bubble to the floor, every year was my year, but this year I'm sure. Welcome to the Super Ledger Podcast, Episode 9. I'm Chris, your host today. You can follow me and get a replay of, of all these podcasts on YouTube under my channel, Corium Concepts. I'm also the founder of Corium Community DAO. My partner, Scott Marco Articulate, have sponsored this podcast. I hope you'll stop by our Discord and website, CoriumCommunityDAO.com, to learn more about staking on Corium, our, our validators. We have two validators on the Corium network and uh, our DAO and uh, recent partnerships uh, with Lunar Space. We're pretty excited about that too. So all that can be found on the website there and our Discord. Next week will be the first Town Hall episode of 2024. And we'll have uh, a lot to talk about with all the recent developments. Snapshot, Airdrop will be uh, here by then. Uh, so there'll be plenty to discuss we have a couple new validators we're, we're now maxed out on the validator list so uh yes really looking forward to a town hall even though we've had a, a run of really powerful guests here uh we do need that time just to all get together and talk about everything too so look forward to that it's an open mic so we uh welcome anybody to come up talk about their project uh, any artists nft projects that's your time. Just come up, request a spot, and you'll have your floor to talk to the community. And uh, same with the community members. Also, all welcome to come up with any questions, concerns that they have. So with that, it's my great pleasure to have the WELP team here today. Tell us more about the DeFi hub they're building on Corium and any recent developments. And one of which uh, they announced previous on the Zen Lounge podcast there that they're going to join us in LA. I look forward to meeting them there, but today we have them here on the Superledger podcast and I'm very grateful. Griffin, uh, welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. And yeah, so it is confirmed this week. I just got the plane ticket. I will be in LA for the Zen Lounge event. I'm really looking forward to seeing anybody there who is uh, in the chat. And yeah, so you know, let's go elevator pitch on Welp. We identified Corium as a very promising chain, and what we are looking to do is build a DeFi hub. 
So that's going to start with the decentralized exchange, our DEX, which is currently in testnet. You know, really appreciate everybody working on that and uh, giving us feedback. And after that, we will be launching additional DeFi protocols. While we haven't settled on which one is next, our team has a lot of experience building um, other protocols such as LSD and lending and borrowing and a few other ones. So we are considering what to do next. And yeah, we're really excited to connect and synergize all these different protocols on Corium. Right on. Uh, it's uh, great to hear. Really looking forward to the project. I've seen the uh, test net. It looks really slick. And, uh, you know, just recently heard of some some updates that you guys have provided. Hopefully we'll learn more about that here today. But uh, first and foremost, uh, tell us a bit about yourselves there as the team. Uh, maybe something you've worked on in the past, where your experience lies in, and how you got to developing here on Corium. For sure. I'd be happy to start. So I am Griffin. It's uh, you know, nice to see everybody. It's the Griffin underscore Cosmos is kind of the, uh, uh, the regular one I use. I got my start in 2020. It was actually over COVID. You know, we were all on quarantine. It was kind of just stuck at home being bored. I read the Bitcoin standard and kind of just fell in love with the space, discovered Cosmos in early 2021. And really just fell in love with IBC and the idea of like bridging all of these different chains together. I mean, it just kind of seemed like the logical future of what the space is going to turn into. So I got my start working at Osmosis. I was with uh, OSL, if anyone is familiar with that. And after that, just kind of went to a few other projects, worked on Juno, really working on community management, community building, marketing. And I'm now the marketing director at Welp. So it's just been an amazing journey so far. Excellent. I heard in the last space there that you had a a uh, background in psychology. Is that uh, is that correct? Oh yeah. Um, so I got my master's in behavioral psychology. I was kind of working with people with autism and emotional disorders. You know, really love that uh, field. But you know, I guess how to say it. There's only so many times you can get punched in the face before you decide, like, okay, maybe uh, I need to do something else. So luckily, crypto was there for me, and it uh, kind of just changed the whole direction on on life. So. I'm just eternally grateful to the space. All right on. I have a familiar familiar storyline there too. So that's uh, good to see. I was in crypto a little sooner, but uh, uh, really uh, changed things up here the last couple of years as far as how involved I'm getting with that. So great to see. And uh, the other members of your team? So, hey, my, my name is Jakub. Um, I'm co-founder of the project uh, WELP and um, smart contract engineer um, who works on basically everything that we are going to deploy. Uh, all Each line of code goes through my fingers one way or, or the other. <laughs> nice to meet everyone here. Uh, excellent. And there's a... Uh, uh another co-founder uh, Milan who couldn't uh, join us here today obviously and so uh, maybe a question for you uh, uh, Jacob um, as far as developing on Corium coming from your background what uh, what about Corium excites you or interests you the most about a uh, tool or functionality it can provide your project so I'm really looking forward to um, use the full power and potential that lies in smart token architecture. Um, right now in, on Welp, um, which primarily in basic form will be a DEX, uh, we are using smart tokens as uh, LP share tokens, um, which gives us a, a lot of flexibility uh, regarding next features that we, we are considering to implement in the future. Um, so right now we are using it uh, in a very basic form as a just regular token, but we see clearly a lot of uh, potential and uh, a lot of possibilities of uh, using natively implemented custom tokens. Uh, for, for example, uh, we could use it uh, very easily as a collateral and in, in lending borrowing protocol. Um, yeah, that, that's one of the ideas that we are speculating about, let's say. 
Interesting. And so is there any other uh, features like maybe with Corium's Dex tools themselves, like with their order book uh, features or anything like that, that provide any uh, unique tools for you? <clears throat> Not yet. Um, tr tr truth be told, uh, the biggest advantage for us right now is um, first and foremost, uh, the huge support from, from Corium. Um, very familiar architecture in, in form of Cosmos, which is just a pure joy to develop on, and smart tokens, which gives uh, a huge advantage uh, for, for us already, thinking about uh, next potential features. Um, we, we are uh, still discussing a lot with the uh, Corium team um, we are exchanging ideas about uh, using features from already existing infrastructure um, in in Corium, uh, but nothing is uh, set set in stone yet. I would say Excellent. like that. Excellent. And you guys were uh, grantee. Uh, recipients of the second round i believe and the that obviously you know provides funding in that but the working with the corium team and and what they're providing you on as far as that goes like i from my end i see them you know working quite hard to to not just provide funding for projects but also just the the tools and resources and support around it uh, am i am i perceiving that correctly Yes, exactly. Uh, grant was really a huge, huge benefit and a huge factor uh, for us when taking a decision about uh, creating this project since we learned uh, a hard way how not preparing, uh, let's say, financial background can impact development of a project. So having uh, a particular uh, grant upfront let, let, let's say, obviously, set, set per milestones uh, gives uh, a lot of confidence to to discuss, uh, to to call, to plan in advantage a uh, whole architecture and develop in in the, not in a rush, in a in a crazy, uh, in in a very short span of time. Let's say we had ability to develop. Um, whole architecture and implement all the necessary features that we want to start with. Um, and no one had to pay any extra money for on top of that. We didn't have to uh, put, put ma any money upfront uh, from, from our perspective. So it was a great, um, it was a great opportunity, great, great uh, head start, let, let, let's say like that. And uh, obviously, Corium, uh, Corium team uh, helped us a lot, connecting us with uh, potential partners, other projects in, in the ecosystem, or let's say uh, for some marketing uh, opportunities. So yeah, we are, we are very grateful to Corium team. Uh, it's been a great opportunity. We hope we will take uh, take this possibility to the fullest and deliver the best experience possible. That's great to hear. Great to hear. And yeah. so you guys. Oh, sorry. If you you had something to say there, Gavin. Well, no, I just wanted to second everything that Jakub said. I mean, it's really been great working with the Corium team. And those who are joining us from the Zen Lounge also knows how much we're a fan of the community so far. So having the the team and the community just be that supportive is just amazing. Excellent. And as, as far as the community goes too, you guys currently have testnet live usable. Uh, has the community embraced that well and uh, is more needed from the community? Uh, how's it going in general, just the testnet? Yeah, but so was... right now, Go ahead. Uh, just wanted to mention, yes, technically we are de deployed on testnet. We have all the currently implemented features uh, live out there. You can try it out. Uh, we have a couple, couple liquidity pools to play around uh, all the functionalities with uh, routing 
of, of the swaps and uh, fees and everything is there. So uh, feel free, feel free to check uh, the the code source. Uh, right now we are negotiating uh, audits uh, with, with uh, several companies and uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, things are looking really strong. And uh, yes, we are fully deployed on on testnet. Excellent. And so far, what uh, what have been the biggest hurdles or issues that have presented themselves since testnet went live? To be honest, we didn't uh, have any major hiccups. Uh, uh, maybe except some minor technical differences that um, uh, actually. We, we stumbled upon a couple of uh, features in Corium, for example, that um, that have been kind of uh, mind-boggling for us. Uh, recently, we uh, start, we noticed that one of the coins that we implemented uh, had, for example, this um, this fee enabled, which is very unique feature, which is also implemented within the smart token. Uh, which takes a percentage of uh, each transaction which when you are using that token. Uh, so very minor things, minor technical di difficulties, but um, as usual, uh, Corium teams respond time was is always is uh, real quick. So really we had no no bigger issues uh, while developing there. Well, interesting. And so is that a feature that you guys are going to be utilizing? I know I've been looking at that feature quite interesting. It somewhat works, if I understand it right, like a tax, right? So every transaction you set when you create a token, you can set the parameter on, on how much of a, a tax goes out on top of the transaction. Yes, exactly. But uh, this can sometimes bite you back when, for example, you want to use all of your balance. Uh, to transfer something, then you are you, for example, query for that balance, and then you want to use that amount in transaction, but then you can't because the the um, in in balance query that tax is not deducted, so you need to do it here yourself. So sometimes if you don't do the math correctly, uh, you can uh, you, you need to be careful ar around that. But this is obviously a very useful feature that, uh, correctly put, it can be a great benefit to in some cases. Interesting. And is there any other uh, particular features like that that you could speak to that you have some interesting ideas or something that we could look forward to utilizing those? Um, <clears throat> I mean, definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm going to circle uh, back and back again to Smart Tokens. Whole interface is really interesting from engineer engineering point of view. Um, it gives full control over uh, freezing, whitelisting, blacklisting of uh, potential users. Um, so this alone uh, combined in some interesting ways with uh, potential protocols or even uh, different uh, types of liquidity pools. <clears throat> uh, I would say it potentially open, opens a lot of new interesting applications of uh, even in, in some already known uh, protocol, DeFi protocols that already exist. Excellent. And so, well, a DeFi hub, the term hub is uh, important, I think, and, and, and intentional uh, in designing yourself as a hub. What like what are the spokes for that hub look like, like reaching out to other uh, chains, projects? What, what is your view of being the, the hub of? At least from my end, what I really see it as is a one-stop shop for people to use. So it is integrating with other projects. It's integrating that on Welp. But we want it to be a place that people can access and do all of their DeFi needs on Corium within the Welp app or our partners. So just connecting everyone together and being the hub that people go to. Excellent. And so we know we're going to have a two-way bridge to the XRP ledger. Um, curious, I know you guys have another project uh related or unrelated i'm not too sure uh on the stellar ecosystem phoenix uh are these all things that you are looking at uh integrating all that liquidity you know into your hub long-term vision it's definitely something that we're looking at um 
for those who don't know, Stellar XLM is launching Sorabon on January 30th, which is for the first time bringing smart contracts to the Stellar ecosystem. So as of right now, they are separate projects. We have some overlapping members on our team working on it, but long-term vision, if we could connect the Stellar ecosystem to Corium and the Cosmos ecosystem, as well as XRP, I mean, so it's not just like inner chain, it's like inter ecosystem. So just some really exciting things looking forward down the line. Yes, and uh, to, to say on top of that, um, Stellar, right now doesn't allow directly uh there there are no official bridges um be, between stellar chain and and others but um i know very well that uh members of sorban board that drives the direction they are very interested in bridging uh other chains there are a couple projects that are already developing in in those areas and uh let's say our team has advantage of already working in both of those ecosystems, which uh, I, I think puts us in, in a great advantage in terms of potential uh, connecting of those markets in the future. And so I, I haven't looked into XLM, you know, a lot of detail lately, but one thing I do know, obviously the technology uh you know stemmed from from xrp uh being that we have two-way bridge and amm and all that about to go live on on xrpl hopefully in in the near future do you think that uh those connections similarities could transfer over to xlm fairly well as far as uh, incorporating that that two-way bridge it's a it's a difficult thing because on on Stellar, there is no uh, no staking. There are no proof of stake, and they have completely different, uh, quite complex uh, um, consensus mechanism based on uh, small groups that verify within each other and then talk to other groups. It's uh, it's very interesting to read. But anyway, so the lack of a Merkle tree like that um, doesn't doesn't for for example allow uh, of implement implementing directly IBC protocol, so um, it's it's not really straightforward thing, but uh, it is still doable I would say with some third party, um, let's say with some third party applications or or some um, mi middlemen that would need to uh, work out as those bridges uh, one way or another uh, bridging with stellar might be difficult but it's uh, definitely within the realm of possibility interesting and then so cosm wasm being the base of of corium you guys coming from from that background i know when i speak to people in the cosmos ecosystem that's it's just very interesting for me, you know, speaking to XRP uh, ledger communities and then speaking to somebody in the Cosmos ecosystem, they they, they totally understand Cosmosm and everything Corium was built on. So the conversation quickly goes to what else is involved and then we can talk to the smart token technologies. But they just seem to really get it and understand. And, and for the most part, most people I've talked to seem to get really excited once they, they hear about what Corium can do um within their within their cosmos ecosystem uh what what can you speak to is that like cosmosm and what corium's doing is is there something that you what would you say to uh, a fellow de developer in the cosmos ecosystem and say hey like what's going on over here at corium's a little bit different um, the, the thing is uh from my perspective uh corium doesn't do anything like uh, very spectacular uh, sorry spectacularly yeah let, 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 let's go with this. um different um but they do it very well so um implementing several features that are now natively built within the already existing very well developed up-to-date cosmos technology is uh, really uh, good good enough already it's already a great advantage, uh, both from, let's say, for example, security standpoint. And uh, 
yeah, there, there are many different aspects to 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 uh, talk about regarding this, but um, working with Cosmos from engineering point of view is a pure joy. <laughs> it's it's really the the best um, tool for working on smart contract applications, and uh, development is fast. It's easy. So with extra features built on already very well thought and working uh, framework, it's uh, it, 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 it's just better and better. Let me say. <laughs> What's interesting is one thing I noticed looking at um, you know tracking the developers and and the projects that they're they're going to and from. Uh, I noticed a lot of the projects that are showing really strong developer growth as in you know the number of developers building on that technology. Many of them are all from the Cosmos ecosystem. So to me, that's really exciting to be part of when you see an influx of uh, developers coming into this technology and then you know also being part of Corium uh, building on that same technology and more importantly connecting it all together I think that's really the key is the the IBC connection here and um, do you do you see a lot of your liquidity potentially coming from that IBC connection it definitely opens up ways for potential partnerships uh so so definitely and always having more opportunities is better than having less so definitely cosmos uh cosmos with uh, bridges is a it's a great great potential uh still whether the there will be for example other projects uh that will be very we, we wouldn't want to partner up let's say with uh, with just any pro project or uh, host any any other token um, we we want to make sure uh, that each project can be for example checked regarding background very well um, so it's not always up to us we need to have uh, high enough standards um, but we 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 know what we're doing let, let, let's say like that Excellent. And so you have some updates since um, uh, I seen on Twitter that come out this week. Uh, you talk about a uh, fee, sp uh, fee splitter contract was developed, uh, better dashboard, IBC functionality, and uh, reworked the states. Um, a couple of those I'm not too sure. I'm, I don't come from a technical background. Could you maybe explain what the significance is of the uh, fee splitter contract and uh, the reworked the states part of, of your post there? Uh, <clears throat> fee splitter is a very simple yet very useful invention. Basically, a separate smart contract which you can set as a source of, uh, uh, as, as a re recipient of a fee on a given smart contract. And then uh, you pre-configure some given list of addresses with each address containing uh, appropriate weight all the weights needs to sum up to one, uh, which and they, those weights represent percentages. And then after uh, submitting the transaction uh, contract distributes all, all the tokens that are currently uh, on a balance of this contract to, to all the recipients from the list, which for example, those recipients will be in, in part uh, smart contract uh, liquidity pools itself so fees will be, <clears throat> or, or for example, staking contracts. So fees will be actually fueling uh, staking rewards. Uh, regarding states, uh, I, I cannot tell for, for sure. I'm sure this is more Milan's department from, from the fr uh, front, front end point of view, um, but I'm sure it's regarding optimization, uh, how, uh, how, how front end works the 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 better states are operating exchanging information within within each other the less load times less, smaller uh, results to to copy and clone over the place yeah 
Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense mm -hmm. for sure. Um, and then with that, um, the, the dashboard part of it. So, uh, obviously it's going to be a DEX. There's going to be a dashboard for that, but if I understand right, you're also providing a, a platform to, uh, kind of keep track of the whole Corium ecosystem from that same dashboard. Is that correct? Um, we want to uh, implement uh, as many important informations regarding your assets uh, on, on Corium plus extra information that we can uh, display to put within a reasonable time uh, because we also don't want to wait for, for a minute till 40 different queries will finish. Um, and we are also working on optimization so that uh, you could actually accurately uh, and quickly receive information about um, all the liquidity and all the stakes that you keep within each pool. Uh, it's not always simple and requires a pretty, pretty uh, co complex way of work on iterators, but uh, to, to make it efficiently and, uh, and fast as possible. But also for that, we are using indexers. Um, we also have some some partners for for that who provide us with infrastructure and and code. So uh, yeah, but we definitely understand that dashboard is the heart of a project. So it need it needs to look well. It needs to present uh, enough information and uh, within as few clicks as possible. Excellent. And so, what would be your your roadmap for? you know, 2024, you know, the months, months ahead at the very least. We don't have everything uh, ironed out for sure. Um, definitely Q1, we need to put heavy focus on, uh, on uh, looking uh, for an investor. We already have a map scheduled for couple, couple conferences. We're going to be <clears throat> now in Denver, for example. Uh, on ETH Denver, we're going to be in Paris uh, on, on April and so, uh, a couple other minor conferences. So we definitely need to, uh, in the meantime, we're ironing out um, the, the exact development plan. As I said, we are we have experience. We, ha we are open to a couple of options um, <clears throat> because from, from several points of view, Maybe, for example, it would be beneficial for us to develop and um, concentrated liquidity pool um, the, as soon as possible, which would uh, leverage smaller liquidities within uh, sensible pri uh, range prices, right? Or maybe we should uh, partner up with, uh, the, which is probably uh, the most likely to happen. Um, to partner up with some NFT platform, which also attracts uh, ju just a lot of uh, a, a lot of uh, like look, let, let's say. Um, the, we have experience with uh, liquid staking protocols. This is definitely something that uh, we consider implementing. So mostly the the most important thing is how to put this all together in a way that community wants want, wants it and uh, we can afford it in a in a steady development uh, time okay and so what does that what does that look like as far as the community is there a governance governance uh, process is like the liquidity token it's not used for for governance is it uh, not yet, <clears throat> uh, not the, not yet at the start, but this is definitely something we we are looking into. Uh, we have, for example, ideas about um, voting using your liquidity pool, uh, liquidity share tokens uh, on on a contract that later would distribute rewards as a total uh, based on those votes, which would already creates uh, attraction and uh, a little bit gamify it, but also 
in general, people who would uh, already have uh, bigger bigger liquidity in pools would prefer to have more rewards in those pools. So uh, that would naturally create like pressure for being active. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so this is one of uh, many uh, appliances of uh, of smart to token that we are we are discussing. Okay, interesting. And so, how do pools get created on on Welp? Like, is that done by user, or does that go through the the Welp team for approval uh, or proposal? Or this is gonna be uh, permissioned. Uh, definitely, at the beginning, it's going to be managed by, by a multi-sig. Uh, we wanted to contain also a couple people from, uh, from WELP uh, uh, team. Um, and uh, at the beginning, we want to focus more on good management. Later, we also considering, but this is more a long term, uh, we could, for example, deploy another version of the same DEX, which would be permissionless, more more like a kind of playground or or just uh, another another variant of, of Welp. Interesting. But but, That's... Mm -hmm, but, but the, again, nothing is uh, set in stone yet. Uh, this is something that we are actively working on and discussing possibilities. Um, yeah. Okay, and since going back to your, you know, partners or collaborations, uh, you know, what type of projects or, or partners are are you guys looking looking for, or what would be a good fit from our community possibly to to partner with? Really, what we're searching for is something that can build value for the community, for Welp, and for the potential partner. So, Jakub had mentioned we're looking at potentially an NFT platform. We're looking at potentially people who can help us bridge multiple ecosystems together. So really it's just looking at what's in front of us. We don't want to rule anything out at this time. Excellent. Well, uh, you guys have made yourself more than available to our community. So I encourage anybody in the community out there with some some ideas or or contributions you can make to this great project. Uh, they're they're not hard to get a hold of. Uh, what's what's the best way to uh, interact with you guys, I guess you could say, uh, for the community? I would definitely say to jump over to our Discord if you want to have a conversation or if you have like specific questions and whatnot. Otherwise, you could reach out to us on Twitter. And our Discord link, if you go to our profile, you'll see the link tree and you'll find our Discord there. Excellent. And so do you, would you or could you say, do you think we're like days, weeks or, or months away from uh, deployment? Um, I, I would say uh, more weeks than months. Um, we definitely are, uh, feel very confident with uh, with all the foundation and, and work that we we created. As I mentioned already, we are waiting for to to be audited. This is very important for us. Um, and after that, there is also a matter of uh, of uh, looking for potential partners and uh, further discussion with uh, with Korean team so uh, but but that we are we are definitely close um that that's that's how much I can, I, I could say that I could say all right on and then so as far as the community getting involved maybe there's some that aren't familiar with De DeFi uh, that have come over from the XRP ledger community or just new to, to blockchain in general. Um, so providing to pools, there's obviously impermanent loss. Could you maybe quickly describe uh, impermanent loss and what WELP is doing to to mitigate that, I guess you could say. And then, you know, maybe just at the same time, I or you could caution uh, any users to fully understand impermanent loss before you're ever getting involved to begin with. So impermanent loss, <clears throat> it's it's easier uh, maybe to some so for someone to understand when you compare it to to stock trading. Um, whenever you have hold something which uh, has a given price, um, 
and that price drops as long as you don't sell it you you hold this loss which will come into realization uh, only when you actually sell it so um whenever you hold your tokens in in liquidity pools and they are staked for some uh, particular period of time um, and token drops in price uh, you are you are losing your money which uh, pot you are potentially losing your money which is called uh, imperman impermanent uh, loss yes so um Market is volatile. Uh, we also discuss different approaches how to how to uh, change look at the liquidity pools. Um, we were considering, or we are dis discussing several approaches. Right now, we thinking about using uh, definitely quite short uh, st staking periods. Uh, with several to to choose for, for user, but I would say it is possible to implement, for example, no unbonding periods, which would still uh, pools with no unbonding periods, which would still have means to attract user to keep th that liquidity, but at the same time, each user would be. Uh, would have possibility to withdraw all of his tokens uh, whenever he would like. He, he would lose some part of bonuses uh, that, that would grow over time. But as, as I said, th those are things that we are uh, thinking about, also discussing with, with Korean team and uh, what's what could be working most, what's, what's not. Uh, at start, we're definitely gonna have uh, unbonding periods, but as I mentioned, uh, at least short ones. So this is the easiest way to mitigate <clears throat> potential uh, impermanent loss. Excellent. Well, we're gonna open it up uh, to to the audience here if they want to come up and ask some questions. Uh, I know there's. Um... Uh, Astro Vault, I've seen your request. We'll get you up after Welp is done here. We'll get them on their way out of respect for their time. But uh, if anybody wants to uh, start coming up, requesting to come up, we'll get you up here to ask any questions of the team uh, before they go. Uh, Marco, Mac, if you can uh, monitor that and bring the speakers up for us. And uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm really looking forward to this project. I, I've looked at the dashboard there and and I think it's going to be a great, great asset for the Corium uh, ecosystem and community as a whole. And you guys have been more than generous with the community with your time and information. And that's that just really uh, uh, hits home with us. You know, that's a big part of building community is just that open communication. It really goes a long way to to uh, keep keep things uh, easy to understand and, and everybody on the same page. So I really got to thank you guys for that. It's been been great what you guys have been doing and and building here. And um, yeah, I just uh, want to give you guys uh, anything else that I might have missed that you want to get out there as far as updates. Uh, if you want to, you know, maybe uh, address uh, something I haven't touched on, now's a chance. And, and like I said, community, here's your time to, to come up and and find out anything that's on your mind. Thank you for having us. Uh, yeah. I really thank you for having us. It's been amazing to build here. And kind of just going back to something you had mentioned earlier about the Corium grant process. I mean, something else that that enables is for us to be able to develop products that really add value before launching a token of our own. So I know we've hinted at it, but Welp tokenomics are being worked on at this time. So definitely stay tuned for that after the launch of the DEX itself. Interesting, yeah. And, and you know, I know you guys aren't really to say much about that, but, you know, test nets are important. And, you know, whether that's incentivized or not, it's important to, to utilize that tool. And uh, for multiple reasons, it helps just let them work out any bugs that might appear if it's getting stressed under load. 
or um, you know, just to show the community's engagement and excitement over the project itself to to give them a, a boost too. So I encourage you guys to check out that test net. It's pretty cool. And uh, that, the other advantage is when it goes live, you're you're ready to go. You kind of understand the look and feel of it. Um, for those that are new to DeFi, you know, I encourage you to do some research and and understand permanent loss and. Uh, you know, especially in the early days of a DEX, things can be uh, volatile. So, you know, there's just little tricks and things that you can learn uh, with a little bit of research. There's a lot, plenty of information out there. Uh, if you have any questions, the community is really easy to get a hold of here to, to support anybody that's new to it. We want everybody to to use these tools in a in a positive way, in a safe way, and and to, to everybody's benefit. So it's important if there's somebody out there that needs a hand that we all uh, do our part to to do that and provide that assistance, so uh, so we can have a a flourishing uh, Dex as it's launched on the on the Corium ecosystem here. Well, I don't see any uh, speakers coming up here yet. Uh, give one last call out if anybody has any questions. Uh, now's the chance. Floor is open. The rest of the uh, show we will just open it wide open. Uh, for a free for all, well, team, you're more than welcome to stick around and and uh, answer any questions if somebody comes late. But uh, I generally don't uh, ask what the time limits are. We're just trying to get the information out best we can. Uh, so if you're wanting to stay, again, more than welcome. But if nobody has any questions, uh, I think I, I've certainly asked all mine. And I appreciate you guys coming today. Right. Um, if I can quickly... Um... Uh, have, have some questions firstly i wanted to um thank uh this is alpha tree here by the way um i wanted to thank corium concepts for this amazing beautiful session organizing and bringing uh the power of the community together today um it's been a wonderful session learning about um you know beautiful dApps being built uh like like the current decks that's that's um, on the speaker uh, panel right now um personally we are very new on the Corium ecosystem. We just wanted to come out here and show some love and introduce ourselves. We're a new validator that's um, looking to support and work with projects out there and, and collaborate in a very fostering environment. Uh, I did want to ask the DEX that um, if... Um, what are your plans of 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 go to market in, in the, the APAC region? That's where I'm based. I'm a... I'm a I'm a community organizer and a, and a super connector in 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 uh, Asia Pacific region. If we can collaborate in any ways and get more people onboarded, uh, would love to have a conversation uh, with y'all and 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 support your um your your decentralized application. Thank you guys once again for the support. We're all diamond hands in here. We're very new into this ecosystem. There's a huge 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 opportunity that lies ahead of us um i want all the community members to to uh keep supporting each other with lots of love diamond hands and uh, never paper hand uh, let's let's go to the moon and uh, let's supporting each other so please show some love to alpha tree we're zero percent commissions and uh please keep fostering and helping each other out here thank you so much for um having me appear once again and um it's been a great session Oh, thank you, Alfred Terry. Let's definitely uh, talk in the weeks to come. We're actually going to be at WOW in Hong Kong in, um, I believe, end of March, early April. So it would be nice to connect there. Sounds awesome. Thank you so much once again. To the moon. Yeah, Alfred Tree, you're more than welcome to stick around. And if you want to tell us a bit more about your validator here when, when everybody's done asking well questions, uh, more than happy to have you tell us more. Thank you so much. I see Epic Creations has come up. Uh, do you have anything to ask there, Levi? I just wanted to ask, um, well, when or where or how did you first find out about Corium? So, yeah, I'd be happy to take that one. It was actually um, slightly before consensus last year in Austin, Texas, we got connected with the Corium team and we began discussions with them. So it's been, what would that be? That was like last June, around like eight months uh, back.
That's great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So it's been something we've been working on for a long time, and it's uh, really nice to be very, very close to launching our first product, the Dex. And, you know, even more exciting stuff coming after that. So it's just a really exciting time. Uh, Year of the Dragon's going to be pretty great. Well, I hope when that uh, dragon's about to fly, you'll uh, hop back on and give us an update there. Absolutely. I'd be happy to. Right on, guys. Well, uh, last call for, for Welp questions. They've been uh, more than kind sticking around asking questions, and they were in a space earlier with us too. So uh, it's Sunday. Uh, in respect for their time, we'll uh, we'll let them move on. Again, you're welcome. You guys are welcome to stick around and, and chat. I see Jacob. You just came back up. Is there something else you wanted to add? Oh no, no. Uh, I I just quit by accident and wanted to take the previous question, but yeah. All right. Oh, I have I just a follow up Henry question up also. Speak. If um oh sure go yeah ahead. so also if you could elaborate on how your crypto journey started, not just with Corium but crypto in general. Sure. Where do you want me to go? Or Jakub, you go first. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, so um, in in previous life, I was uh, just embedded software engineer, um, but I. Although I pretty quickly go, picked up some interest in crypto, which was on my radar, but uh, seriously, I got into it when I started reading about uh, Polkadot in, in 20, 2019. Um, and, but then I still was working actually uh, in, in a completely different field. But then kind of by accident, um, I stumbled upon Confio, uh, GmbH, and I got recruited by Ethan Frey, uh, which uh, is father of uh, Cosmos framework. And from that, basically, my my journey skyrocketed because I was uh, I had privilege to work on a huge amount of uh, really ambitious projects uh, like Tigrate, um, where we were implementing. Uh, a custom variant of, uh, of of proof of stake, but it was a proof of engagement. Uh, really interesting white paper. I, I recommend to read. Uh, I, I started working with uh, with Osmosis. I was working on lending protocol for for them, for example. Uh, I started doing audits uh, within the whole Cosmos. Um, I I partnered with partnered up with a couple other projects, and uh, last year, me and uh, and Milan, uh, whom I b met in Confi as well, um, we decided to quit Confi to pursue our own project on our own terms. Um, yeah, and uh, basically that's how uh, we are here. Right. So, being that you, if you don't mind, I jump in, uh, Levi. Um, so you mentioned Ethan. I've I've done a couple videos on something that he talked about that he was excited to be developing, and that was like the the parent child idea of of a Dex, where um, there's there's a bulk of liquidities in in one spot, but the all the remote Dex. Uh, helps protect everything. So if there's a run on a dex, it's only uh, uh, attached to a small part. Is that is that something that Welp is is looking at integrating, or um, do you have more to expand on that idea? Maybe. Oh, not necessarily. And I vaguely remember that idea, but it does ring the bell. Bell. Uh, it, Ethan is a, a great great person. Uh, hu huge power train intellectual huge intellectual power train and he has uh, a lot and a lot of ideas i i learned a lot from him um it, it, it was a great time um and yes his his idea still um gives us uh oh i i lost the word sorry the english is not not my my native um it, 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 it's it still leads us let, let me say it like that um mm -hmm. 
but uh, this th this is actually re really interesting, and uh, I I haven't thought about it in a, in a long time already. Um, but I, I I would be interesting. It would be interesting to follow follow up on that. So uh, if you would like to talk uh, later, maybe tomorrow, uh, we could uh, talk like just message me or, or something. That sounds good. I, I do look forward to that. Thank you, uh, right. Levi. Sorry, I cut I cut you off there. Oh, I was just saying that was a great answer. Thank you so much for for the answer. Right on. I see uh, Henry came up to speak. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey, Chris, uh, thanks for putting on another awesome Super Ledger, and thank you to the Welp team for coming on and talking. Uh, I've been looking forward to hearing from you guys. First, I wanted to say I love your branding. Um, the, the Year of the Dragon is awesome. I love the dragon emoji everywhere, and uh, the W in your, in your logo is clean. Big fan. Um, second, uh, Levi, great question, because I was going to ask if you guys had any... Um, kind of concrete ideas or concepts that you guys wanted to put together for um, bringing WELP into IBC and helping the Corium community get to IBC a little bit easier. Um, and I think you just detailed your history with Osmosis and Ethan. So um, if you had any uh, some detail on some ideas, if you wanted to expand, I'd be very interested to uh, hear on that. Uh. Right now, uh, truth be told, right now uh, I'm I'm working towards uh, finishing what we are currently working on completely, and we have those ideas I already mentioned uh, that we are looking to implement into future. Um, neither none of them uh, directly touches IBC yet, although I'm I, I can say I'm uh, on on top of. Uh, for example, recent uh, updates in uh, Osmosis, Me Osmosis Mesh Protocol, which is uh, really interesting, uh, so something that could be, for example, partnered up with uh, at, at some point. Uh, this is basically cross-chain staking using IBC to map transactions to similar liquidity pools on, on different uh, chain within the Cosmos ecosystem. So there are very interesting uh, potentials and implementations. Um, but also we we have a fina finite resources. So you know if there will be a, a worth pursuing opportunity with that, we are definitely eager uh, to to work on on that. Um, but nothing at the moment uh is is planned for for certain yeah that's a that's a great answer thank you jacob um just so mm -hmm. you know we we're, we're looking at some avenues for that too so i'd love to work with uh, uh lunar space would love to work with whelp on that um and then uh great. i think um just my last question would be did you guys or do you guys have any plans to take some influence from what osmosis is doing i know you've talked about them a lot um and i just wondering if the inception of the project kind of came from uh, how good of a process Osmosis has with their LPs. No, not only that, there, there is a, a lot of experience in each of uh, our, our team members combined in, in various different uh, on, on various different levels. Um, we, we all know what, what works and what doesn't, um, but Right now, it's uh, sometimes it's difficult to say what, uh, that something is, uh, let, let's say, th this is copied from Osmosis or from something else, because if you dig deep enough, probably Uniswap or, or some Pancake uh, work on something else uh, so, so, so much earlier. Um, but uh, just from, from top of my head, uh, multi-asset liquidity pools. This is kind of low-hanging fruit that could be very effectively used that we would be definitely also looking forward to implement. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, no, I, I love it. Yeah, yeah, that all sounds like a, a good place to start. I think for for a lot of this Corium stuff. Obviously, focusing on your product first is idea is is 
paramount and then uh just in the future like with uh with all this ibc stuff because that's where i come from too I, I i take a lot of influence from a lot of great things i've seen over there yeah totally I, so I, yeah I, thank I, you totally thank you for your answer guys yeah great great answers that's uh fantastic uh sorry there's a couple people up here to speak uh they're not here no more if you got bounced out for some reason, just ask to come back up. We'll get you back up here. Uh, same goes. Anybody else have anything? Uh, Epic Creations. Sorry, I was assuming it was Levi there. I found out it's not, so my apologies there. Oh, yeah, no worries. This is Michael. I run the uh, Epic Creations Twitter, and I make the NFTs, and I deploy the Epic tokens. So I'm the uh, other half of the Epic Creations uh team well let me take this opportunity i speak to levi lots about what you guys are doing over there it's fantastic and i really appreciate uh all the work that you put in and and the art that you're creating there so so thanks again thanks for having us for those that you don't know they've created a beautiful uh Corium concepts epic creation skateboard that going to be given away here very soon and it's absolutely amazing if you haven't checked it out maybe marco you could put a link to that up top there it's uh, it's up uh, it's just beautiful i couldn't couldn't be happier so uh thank them for that they're great great community members support many people in this community and abroad with their efforts here so uh that's why i'm always eager to to support what they're doing because uh, great guys really appreciate having them yeah, we, we got a lot of stuff coming down the barrel. Uh, more skateboards, more surfboards. Uh, Going to be attending the LA event with the Zen Lounge. So excited for that. Right on, uh, Alpha Tree. Uh, sorry if you got bounced out there. You're back up. Welcome. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you uh, once again. Um, I had some ideas. I know there's a lot of people traveling um, to the Asian Pacific side uh, in the next few months for conferences and for events. Um, just wanted to say if you're ever looking for a friend in this part of the world, we're always here for you guys. Happy to show you guys around and at the same time, happy to build a community that um, that kind of translates into a, a larger uh, a larger vision in the future. So please, uh, please, uh, please feel free to reach out and, and follow us. Um, we're, we're very new and we're uh, dedicated. Alpha Tree, de Alpha Tree is dedicated to um, securing the larger decentralization goal of, of Satoshi Nakamoto of creating a very fair and equal world. So thank you guys. Appreciate it once again. Um, and I'm really excited to kind of meet other players in this space and, um, and uh, kind of create a community where we can all keep in touch together in this closed knit group and share updates with each other. So if you're interested, um, please, please reach out so I can share a link with y'all. Thank you so much. Well, and on the short term here, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, just know you're welcome at our uh, Corium Community DAO Discord. We can create a spot for for you, your validator, or just for the, the APAC region in itself. There's uh, a lot going on there, and uh, it's uh, it's great that you've uh, wandered into this space. I think you, you sound like you're going to be a valuable asset to the community and ecosystem. So anything we can do to help you at our Discord to get you a spot, to get your message out, even if it's just a link to your own uh, sites or whatever, it's it's there for you. Just uh, get a hold of us and uh, we'll help you out there. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Much love. Um, it is 3 a.m. out here. So um, it, it's it's been it's been a, a bit of a task for me to just kind of keep up with the, the time zones. But I know there's a lot of activity uh, going on in North America. I used to um, go to college in, in the U.S., uh, but then came back to Asia where I grew up. So uh, I've been trying to keep up with uh, my body clock and the time zones just so just so I don't miss out on updates and Twitter spaces and stuff like that so uh once again thank you so much uh, i will i will hit you up and um that, that that sounds great 
Uh, thank you. And and that extends to anybody on the Corium network. I've said it before, but it's a good time to maybe repeat it. Uh, any project or uh, uh, anybody building on Corium, there's a space in our Discord. We can create a, a channel for you just to, like I said, even if it's just a link to your own Discord or community, however you communicate, uh, like uh, much like Welp is doing, uh, Corium Community Dial wants to be the hub of, of information and resources. So uh, that could just be as simple as linking out to to more information outside of our Discord, and we we hope to provide a, a tool and, and value for everybody in the community, and it's there to utilize. So just reach out to us, CoriumCommunityDAO.com, if you want to get in touch and do something with that. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, just wanted to say out there that uh, Alpha Tree has zero percent commissions um, for as long as the community decides. Uh, we are we're fully self some sustained um we're paying out of our own pockets just so we can keep this network safe and secure um we do not ask for anything all we ask for is some love and some delegation of your corium to keep us uh alive and and, and support us thank you guys so much and we will be at zero percent there you go Anybody else have any questions or comments for, for Welp? I see they're still here. That's awesome. You guys, uh, thanks again for, for sticking around. Um, but uh, anybody has anything to add? Now's the time. Marco, what's going on with you? Do you have any uh, updates with, with CAF this week? Not nothing public that I want to share yet, but definitely I got something cooking. Uh, I just wanted to add real quick. Um, down in Paia, right, right in the town that I live in, uh, there's the Paia Youth and Cultural Center, and we uh, partnered with pro surfer Kai Laney and uh, his best friend uh, Nano Masera, and he painted a surfboard, and they did a raffle fundraiser to raise funds for the Paya Youth and Cultural Center. And we uh, sponsored the board and minted the NFT for the board. And uh, that NFT will be going out soon to the winner. The winner was announced this weekend. They had Beach Fest down there at Paya Youth and Cultural Center and all the community came together. It's really nice to see. Right on. Excellent. Good to hear. And I uh, look forward, like I said, uh, hope you guys can see the, the current project they got up on the top there. The skateboard's pretty cool. Uh, Devon, see you're here. Welcome. Oh, you might have some uh, mic issues there. It looks like you're blinking in and out. Ralphie also came up. Ralphie, how are you doing today? Exactly what I expected from Devon every time the first, for the first. He gets it together. So true. <laughs> that, guys, how awesome is it to have Wolf up here and then have um Henry come up, another project building on top of Corium and kind of finding ways where they could collaborate and kind of work together and, and, and share information together. That's kind of dope. I like that. That was interesting to hear uh, from, you know, Henry with Lunar Space. And then obviously we have Wolf up here as well um dope space guys dope space uh i love seeing i love seeing projects come up here and, and the community able to ask questions well when is your um when we had a question in our discord uh, somebody was asking when your product is going to be live and when they could actually uh if you guys are going to have a token when they could you know buy some of your token or whatnot yeah, for sure. So we don't have an official launch date yet, but um, Yakub kind of mentioned it. I mean, we're looking at a matter of weeks um, internally is when we're thinking. And there will be a Welp token as well. But since we, you know, you have that amazing uh, Wave 2 grant from Corium coming in, there's not like an immediate need to launch a token for the team. So it's really going to be building like a use case and products before launching the token. We, uh, recognize that that was uh, a potential mistake that other projects have made in the past because you know if there's no point in having the token why would anyone hold it and um it just gets dumped into oblivion so the, there will be a whelp token will be coming out with a full tokenomics maybe perhaps like a little white paper thing with that and 
the Welp D5 Dragon may decide to pay a visit to uh, yeah, Corium Wallets. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, just definitely stay tuned for that. Did he just... Did, did I hear that, guys? We'll, we'll, we'll leave it there. But... Uh, it may be flying to town. We'll see. Okay. Okay, I like that. I like the way that sounds. And then just one more thing. Alpha Tree, um, I saw that you made your, your Twitter account new, and it's the first time I, I, I hear of your validator. And whatnot. Do you have a personal X account so we can get to know you a little bit better as a community? Um, yes, I do have a, I, I do have another uh, account. It's more of um, it's more of a NFT account, more of a DGen account where I used to. Uh, I was a big NFT trader uh, back in the day. Um, I'm also the organizer for NFT Hong Kong, which is similar to NFT NYC and NFT London. So the other account is more on the NFT side of things. I'm happy to share it. Uh, please send me a message. Uh, I will I will share it with you. And I also have my own personal LinkedIn and telegram uh whatever works for y'all i will completely share that with y'all thank you yes absolutely we want the dgen account we're half of us in here consider ourselves dgens in the nft space so <laughs> absolutely you will fit right in let's get that uh share that account with us brother sounds good sounds good cheers cheers fam uh right on well devon do you have a question for for well before they get going i've I've uh, kept them here a long time here. I want to let them get on with their day. really appreciate them coming. Okay, yeah. Well, I'll make my question very quick because Ralphie already asked one of them. Um, so my other question was going to be, um, what is it with this? You might have already explained it. I came in very late. What is going to separate your exchange from other exchanges that are going to be coming onto the Aquarium Network? We'll say the main piece to it is that our exchange um, is going to have multiple protocols launched on top of it. So while we're securing liquidity and improving the DEX every step of the way, there will be other products that will be launching on top of it. So it's really just a way to synergize different protocols rather than having, um, let's say, like eight different protocols that are all fragmented uh, between each of themselves. So between like partners and then protocols we launch ourselves, it's really the, the goal is for it to be the DeFi hub, like the one-stop shop for everyone in Corium to go to. Now, with the protocols that you're going to have built into it when you launch, isn't it possible for other um, exchanges to also tap into those same protocols when they are trying to update it to version two or version three? Uh, well, so all of our... GitHub code is is live. I mean, someone could go and copy it, but um, you know, I just think that it, it, in the end, it's who's going to win out. Maybe Yaku has something to mention with that as well. Yeah, or do you mean <clears throat> like literally using our our smart contracts that are being deployed on the network? Yes. How do you how do you in that sense, right? Somebody stealing your ideas for competition purposes. What is going to maintain your dominance as the DeFi hub later on? So, softly spoken, experience and uh, the correct, the the fastest way of um, perceiving potential opportunities or dangers. This is very high high level uh, said, but uh, we have agile team that has uh, head full of ideas. It's not a matter of question uh, if we will implement something, but rather shuffling it so we won't burden ourselves with with too much work because it's it's totally possible. Um, we we really have uh, a a lot. Corium being uh, uh, already very. And developed Cosmos from chain with uh, so many features that Corium brings on its own uh, opens a huge realm of possibilities. And um, whether it might be even uh, uh, variations of uh, of liquid liquid staking with uh, some cross chain operations, the wo world is is ours. <laughs> let, let me say like that. Um, it's it's just a matter. For us, 
it's definitely a matter of bringing uh, a great foundation, great, very well thought based product that uh, earns its keep, uh, that doesn't need uh, shoveling money into it in order to be uh, sustainable all the time, sustained, um, and building extra features that encourage more uh, active user base on top of that. Yeah, I think building the community is going to be a key part of that. And, you know, there's, I guess there's nothing stopping other projects from copying everything we do, but while they're working on copying us, we're already working on the next feature. So they'd always be behind. I love that. Oh. Boom. Well, we're going to let those guys uh, get going. I really appreciate uh, Jakob and Griffin. Powerful way to end. Really excited to see what you guys uh Bring out here for us in the next few weeks as you you mentioned uh, and and we won't we we understand there's obviously things that come up that that delay that we're, we're never going to pressure you in that sense but uh, just really excited about it as many in the community are so thanks again once once again for uh, coming on today uh, you've dropped tons of value for our community here and uh, you guys like i said are easy to get a hold of and uh, yeah, thanks again, and you're welcome anytime. Uh, Coring Concepts YouTube channel, if you ever want to get a message out there too, it's, a, it's certainly available to you. So thank you again, and uh, we'll let those guys get going and uh, open the floor just a little bit, just for whatever anybody wants to talk about, whether it be Welp or anything else. Chris, thank you so much for hosting, and thank you everyone in the community for being here and supporting us so far. We got some great stuff in, uh, in the lines. Definitely stay tuned. Exactly. Thank you for hosting us. And uh, we're going to be out as soon as possible, but not rushing blindly and smart. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. And uh, fr from my perspective, have a good night. <laughs> See ya. Yes, I uh, really appreciate uh, joining me from overseas there. It's a uh, late, late night. I really appreciate it. Right on, guys. Another another powerful uh, guest on the show here. Uh, leaves us lots to talk about that, combined with many other things that have been going on here. We have the snapshot, first airdrop coming up. Uh, whatever's on your guys' mind, floor is yours. Hey, did uh, did they mention if they were gonna if they have a token or uh, if it's going to be used in their ecosystem? Uh, yeah, they did speak to that uh, earlier. There's obviously going to be a liquidity token at the start, but they will have their own token uh, at some point. Details are will be announced soon. Is Corin the? I'm sorry, you broke up on my end. Is, was Corin the main token when they launch? Uh, as far as uh, pool, is that what you're wondering? Can you hear me? Yes, for the, yes for the pools. Uh, they didn't uh, speak to anything specifically other than it's permissioned at the start, at least. And I actually am still here, Griffin. Um, I, I, I can stick around for a bit. I am in the U.S., so it's not super late for me. Um, it, definitely starting off, there won't be a wealth token. So the main thing we are trying to target for initial liquidity would probably be some nice Corium pairs, some sta uh, stable coins on there. Just some relatively, like, kind of get, like, that financial... Uh, that background, like get some liquidity in there that supports the Corium ecosystem. Great. Sorry, I didn't, I wasn't looking at my screen. Appreciate you jumping back in. Yeah, no problem. All right, anybody else want to come up? Uh, so far, we have Henry, Ralphie, Devon. Four is yours. Go ahead. All right. Well, I think maybe we'll wind her down. Uh, nothing wrong with having a short one every once in a while. Everybody's busy. Uh, we started a little early today with the, the Zen Lounge uh, Breakfast Club there. So um, maybe it's just time to shut this one down for the day. And uh, we will gather again next week for episode 10, which will be the town hall format. So we'll be able to all gather at that time and, and process everything we've taken in here the last few weeks with, from these great projects. And uh, by then we'll have our first official airdrop on the Corium network. That'll be pretty exciting to see how that all transpires too. So 
Uh, if there's nothing else from you guys today, I think we'll just shut her down. Super Ledger Podcast, number one top ranking. Beautiful. Right on, guys. Well, thanks again. See us here again next week. Thank you for everybody that contributes to this podcast, including the, the guests that are showing up, especially those that come up to speak and ask such great questions. Um, couldn't do it without you all. Appreciate it. Love, love it. Peace and prosperity to you all. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great rest of your Sunday. You too.